Okay. So I got, what, 21 minutes. 21 minutes. So it has been over a week since I made a video, aside from the little clip I made earlier. Um, yeah, it's been a minute. Um, I am currently chilling at a loves. I plan to stay around this area for the evening. Um, then figure out what I'm doing come tomorrow. I met the manager here who offered to help me uh, help me find find my way out of here. Um, so he's given me different suggest suggestions about, you know, asking people, but also um, offered me resources. And I might take him up on that. I'm still trying to decide exactly, obviously, how I'm going about this. Um, because there's a lot that I would like to, I just haven't done a great job documenting things, I feel like. And like, I want to be able to show people like <laughs> really how it is, even in all of the difficulties. Um, I mean, I was so blessed this entire week. Um, but at the same time, like, I mean, I was, oh, don't get me wrong. I was entirely fucking blessed. I was being cared for the entire week. Um, and it was absolutely wonderful. And nobody asked anything in return from me. And they accepted the help that I wanted to offer. And it was just uh, extremely validating for so many different reasons. Um, spending time with people like I did, um, the people, like the kind of people that I did this week, um, something I used to dream about and uh, to be able to have that experience um, after I've gone through so much and kind of come to so many different places is kind of incredible because like I very easily <laughs> could have just stayed there forever to be honest um, but I realized that I, it wasn't my time for that um, and may never actually be my time for that because I have these other goals and other missions and other things that I, that I'm, that I'm doing. And, uh, that is a really interesting realization to come to. Cause it was like, I, I just got to reflect on myself a lot this week and really like consider how far I've come and you know, what it is that I'm, that I'm actively doing and why. Um, so it's been incredible. And then like, I walked from there to here, which only, I think, you know, it was only a few miles. Um, I met the manager here and like just had a wonderful conversation with him. Um, it's amazing the people that you'll meet on the road that um, are in similar positions or have been through similar positions and like they're just trying to help other people and stuff and like all of it is helping me to cultivate exactly what I'm trying to do which like I want to get down to Austin and be able to get my own place so that I can start building this stuff up. I want to be able to have a place where those that are caring for others can come and be cared for. And, you know, people that are trying to come up that really just need that little bit of a leg up can have that space to do their healing and to come back to themselves and to in a place that, you know, they feel supported and they feel cared for and they feel free to just be themselves and, you know, take take that little bit of a respite take that little bit of a step in the right direction um you know and then there's i mean there's so many things i'm trying to do but that's that's what i want to utilize with my space or utilize my space for and um i am kind of anxious to get down there um and just because i know that there's still a lot of work to be done before i can even have that so like um i don't I'm halfway through my journey I, the intent as I mean was just to get to Texas really it wasn't that I that I had to walk or that I have to do everything on foot I have taken a train already and um, I don't know there's something extremely rewarding about hiking and about walking the long distances I mean I walked you know like the hundred plus miles from St. Louis to here and walked the hundred plus miles from, you know, one side of Wisconsin to the other and then down around in Chicago and stuff. And, um, I don't know, just all these different things. Like it's been incredibly rewarding and I definitely like can still use the workout. So 
it's not that I'm trying to rush necessarily, but like, I don't know. I mean, I do also just want to kind of get the show on the road in different ways. I miss my dog. I miss, you know, I want to be able to establish these things, but like even this week, like I took this week as a kind of respite and as a kind of vacation and like, I don't know. It's refocused me in a lot of ways too, where like I have this different energy now to work with um, and I don't want to uh, waste that by any means. I mean, I don't think that I would getting to Austin any quicker. Um, but I just want to make sure that I'm doing things that I'm doing things right. I definitely don't feel like I should stick around here, but it's crazy because like at the same time, there is so much need here for help. Um, and there's so much help here. Like the people here are so kind and wanting to help each other and wanting to build something better. And like, I mean, people fall into the same things everybody falls into everywhere, but like there is something special about, about this state, but especially about like the specific part of the state. Like they're really, I mean, I had stayed with a dude for two and a half days and made money mowing lawns. Then he brought me to this truck stop and I immediately met this couple that was traveling that were like, well, why don't you come to the property with like, you can be like, you can come back to the property with us and meet all these really cool people and just like chill out for the night. And then that turned into a week <laughs> um, of just, you know, I mean, it's on a farm. So I did some, not really, I didn't really do much farming, but I watched it and um, I did house chores um, mostly babysat a little bit, but that was more for my own entertainment. Um, I loved them kids. It was so nice spending time with kids. Um, and just being able to be, you know, be of use. Um, you know, just when I know like people got a lot going on, people got a lot going on and it's nice to have somebody come around and be able and willing and and, and loving enough to be able to help in different ways, you know, and I love to be able to offer that to people. Um, I am covered in bug bites. I am just absolutely covered in bug bites. It's insane. My legs are covered in bug bites. It's not just mosquito bites. It's also spider bites and scratches and shit. Um, it's kind of gnarly, uh, but it is what it is. My feet look hilarious because of the tan lines on them from my sandals. My legs still just refuse to get tan. My feet have gotten tan, but my legs have a hard time. I'm wearing pants right now. I gotta try to remember to wear shorts more often because obviously that's the only way they're gonna get any sun. Um, that's a side note, obviously, but that's just something I've noticed. My body's in quite a way right now. Um, all the women I was just staying with um, were like, they don't really shave or anything like that. So I've been considering potentially going that route, but I haven't gone that route yet because I don't, I don't necessarily want to or necessarily need to, but seeing it, being around it was encouraging in different ways or validating in different ways about those things. I don't know. I don't know if I'll, I don't know how that's, how, if I'll go that route, but I do like to see it. I'll tell you what, I do like to see women just being women. Um, I don't know. I don't want to talk too personally about it. Cause like, at least where I'm at right now, like it feels like it was just such a gift and like, it's not something I need to talk about the same way that I've talked about other things. Other things have been a little more transient, even with the connections that I've built. Um, I don't know but it just seems like this past week was just like kind of for me just something special for me I don't know um there's definitely a lot that I've learned and a lot that I've processed and like one of the girls that I met I mean just such a beautiful reflection of my own life but like in these different ways that just like allowed me to put things into perspective in a way that's just been extremely helpful and like I had gone on a little trip with her back to her hometown and on the way back it's like a two-hour drive and on the way back like 
we just had like all of these moments of just like absolute healing. I have never experienced anything like that with another person. Um, I've experienced moments like that by myself and I've allowed myself to become that vulnerable within myself, but I've never been that vulnerable in front of another person and especially someone that I've only known for a short time. And honestly, especially a woman even like, I found myself being able to be vulnerable in weird ways with men. And I've kind of, I think always accepted that as valid, which it's not that it isn't, but like this is something pure and different and um, incredible. And like the visualizations that I started having and like hearing her talk about her own and stuff really, really reminded me of like my own spirituality and like not necessarily that I've gotten away from it, but that maybe I haven't been like actively processing it and engaging with it in like the, at, at, in this, at the same depth and levels that like I really would like to and really know that I can. Um, so that's something that I'm also going to be processing and likely getting very different about um, as I continue to process it. I mean, there's a large aspect of like my sexuality, for instance, that has been rather low vibrational. Um, and I've kind of like, what's the word? Like, you know, gotten, like I, I, I've been quite satisfied with that. And I'm finding that I'm not any longer, um, that I want to raise those vibrations and that I want to put my sexuality to far better use than I have. And, you know, I still make jokes and like, have been like be in a certain way in different ways, but it's kind of like me shaking off those last little pieces of that as I come into something different. Uh, when I started this trip out, I, had this anticipation that it was going to be like that I was going to be far more on top of my shit <laughs> and that I'd be far more responsible about this and I was like yeah I'm going to go on this like I'm going to be like sexually healing the whole time but like and I am but I also I wasn't in the right mindset and now I've definitely been put there in a different way and I know that it's going to take a few days to process it at least a few days to process it more and more but I definitely know I'm on the right path and um Dude, I just can't even, I can't even explain so much of it. Um, but like having the conversation with the manager here, just really like, it just reminds me of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And like how like, I'm so blessed by the universe to like <laughs> continue to validate me every step I take. I mean, I asked for that because uh, my faith wasn't so strong and especially not myself. And I was filled with all this self doubt. And I was just like, universe, please like, just every single tiny little baby step that I take, just like, not that I need a reward for it, but please validate that like I'm doing the right thing. Like give me, give me these signs and validations that like that is the right thing because it's so easy for me to doubt and then just kind of step back and to maybe try to change the route that I'm headed. Um, and if it wasn't even for like that girl and the way that she just it explained things, like I wouldn't have been reminded of those things within myself. Um, and I very easily could have fallen to just staying around there forever, which would not have been a problem. They are wonderful. And it was, it's a wonderful space and it was so healing and so wonderful, but like, there's just bigger things that I'm trying to do right now than just that personal stuff that I shared with them. And, um, not that I'm opposed, sorry, there's a bat flying and it's so cute. It's flying like very close to me. Um, it's cool. I don't know. There's, there's just, just definitely a lot. That was an incredible time. Um, I look forward to networking with them in the future and being able to get my own space so that like they also can, you know, bring their kids and have a space to chill out every once in a while. Um, again, I just want to care for people. I want to have a space where I can care for myself and care for people and do my businesses and get an income and have a space where people can, you know, grow and heal and be themselves and express themselves and, do creative works and, um, you know, like a shelter, but not a shelter, like a place for like the people that are like helping the shelters, the people that are volunteering their time, the people that are like still needing that leg up in order to gain some sense of success, but more of the people that are like actively out here caring for others, um, with what energy they do have and what time and space and resources that they do have. Um, that's what's huge to me and making those types of networks and networking those types of communities. Um, it's quite a large undertaking and 
the further that I go and the more people that I interact with, the more that I realize like what what an undertaking it is and what exactly I'm doing and how I kind of have to go about it. Um, I learn so much from different people who have kind of already carried this torch and um, have hit walls and kind of, you know, are struggling to find what to do next and stuff like that. So I've, I've just been so blessed to come upon these opportunities to learn these things, to find so many people that are doing the same work that I'm doing. Um, you know, they're my brothers and sisters out here. I'm finding them everywhere. My true family, like people that really do believe the things that I believe and really are out here living the life that I live, you know, and like doing it. They're really doing it. And it's, you know, it's not just me. I'm not alone in this. Um, but I know that for so many people that know me, like they don't know me to be this type of person. They don't know me to be this vulnerable. They don't know me to be somebody that like, like I've, I've technically been homeless living out of my car for almost four years of my adult life, but most people don't know that. Um, and so this is like a way that I can, you know, bring eyes to what's really going on. Um, but also, I mean, it's, you know, so it's a personal thing for me, but it's also something that I'm trying to do is to, to get people paying attention and to get people to see what this is like. And, um, you know, most of the people are out here aren't what you might expect. Um, there's so many people out here that are working really fucking hard, that are doing their absolute best, that fell on hard times for no fault of their own and are, are just trying their hardest to uh, maintain some sense of stability, self-sustainability, happiness, you know. And every once in a while you find people that have been through just the absolute fucking worst and they have been able to cultivate a sense of happiness that, like, it's just so rare in our society and like it's a shame that it has to come through so much trauma so often the most beautiful people i've met in my life tend to have found um their strength through trauma and like i don't know it's a hard thing to process but i'm also so thankful for it and i'm thankful for these interactions that i'm able to have and these connections i'm able to make and the steps that you know when i when i listen to, to these to this guidance and find myself in these positions how it's just continuously validating that like yeah these are the people that that need what I have to offer and that are willing to put it to the greatest use and I can actually see things happen in the world the way that I that I would hope that they could um you know I'm not it's not just me trying to change the world there's everybody out here trying to change their own worlds and we all just need a little support and like finding what your what your gift is and how to give it is not something I think most people truly ever really come to so I feel entirely blessed <laughs> to be in this position and I, I find myself in a point of privilege for that and to be able to share that with other people who are like actively homeless but still doing their fucking jobs you know like it's huge and it's it, it, it there's uh something really big going on in the world um and in and in it's at a ground level still, you know, but I'm going to bring it up with me and uh, people are going to see it and people are going to, um, there's a lot of resources out there for people, you know, and it's about connecting people with the right resources and stuff. And like, I don't know, I just see, I just see some big changes. I see a lot of really good things happening and I'm, I'm just, I'm not just overjoyed. I mean, I'm just, it's, it's a lot to be honest. Um, but it's exciting. It's invigorating. It's, it's, um, it's freeing in so many different ways and just wholly empowering. And I just, I want to see it for so many people, you know, I want to see it for anyone who's, who's trying to do better with what they have without just being given all of these things, you know, and I think all of us could find ourselves in that position one way or another. And when we all start to relate in those ways, when people start to consider like, oh, you know, this person who I know to be this way or this way or this way is doing this, this or this, like that it will change your perception of these things and that it will change where you're coming from um, with your sense of compassion and stuff, not for me, but for those who actually need it. You know, I'm happy to stimulate people towards uh, giving people what they actually need. Um, it's a big, big fun thing for me. Uh, it's a joy, it's a pleasure, and it's a gift that I'm able to give, and so I'm thankful for it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think uh, come tomorrow when I make another video, it'll be a lot more 
deliberate i'll probably write some shit out or try to make it a little more um in depth about different concepts and different things uh perchance or maybe i'll um pick up again on my personal story and retry that one out i had put them out for a while and then made them private because i didn't really like the way i went about it um so maybe i'll try that again and kind of just make that part of the process um but yeah we're back on the road and i'll keep you posted